Hi, welcome back. It is Wednesday, May 6th, and we're going to hop right in. Today is actually about pies. I know this picture isn't the best right now, but I just wanted to show you a beautiful picture of a pie, and it's actually cut into different slices. And that's kind of what our problem is about today. So, the baker made seven pies. He made seven in total. How many each pie was cut into four slices. How many slices of pies are there is the question today. So let's go right into our retelling. So you, oops, sorry, you already know it doesn't need to be word for word. And you're going to pause the video once it's covered to make sure that you can do your retelling without looking at the problem. And you're just trying to make sure that you're telling me what the problem is asking you and what the problem is telling you correctly. So make sure that you are covering it up so right now and you can always go back and look at the question if you need a couple minutes to help you. So I'm going to pause my video, you're going to pause yours and you're going to retell me the question right now. Go! Great job! Now we're going to head right into technically going over our problem. So right now go to your page for 27 for CGI and we're going to circle, underline and box together. Alright, I'm going to read the problem to you. The baker made seven pies. Each pie was cut into four slices. How many slices of pie are there? Good, now I want you to pause and reread to yourself. Alright, great job rereading. Now, let's hop into the core of this, and this is the cubes. Let's think about circling our key numbers and our units. So we're thinking about what is the information the story is giving you. Always start from the top. The baker made seven pies. Seems like this, seven, and pies, because seven is the number and pies is the unit. Now we're going to keep going. Each pie was cut into four slices. They're telling you that it's four, but this is slices, not pies. So the units make a huge difference right here. I don't see any more numbers in here, so we're going to hop to, to the second part of underline. Underline the question. It says it right where? Right there. Good. So right now I need you to take your pencil and underline. Make sure you're circling, underlining, and boxing with us right now. The question was, how many slices of pies are there? Now we're going to hop into the boxing math action words. What is it asking you to do? There are a couple words in here that are going to help you understand what they're asking you to do. And that actually was, each pie was cut. So I'm telling you right now that he made seven pies and then Every one of those pies was cut into four slices. This is telling you a gigantic thing right here. And they're asking you how many slices of pie are there? They're not asking you of how many pies. You know the answer to that one. They want to know how many slices in all the seven pies do you have? So this is the part of the more or less than question. The question is, does the baker have more or less than seven slices of pie? So make sure you're using your thumbs up and your thumbs down right now. So right now you're telling me, does the baker have more than seven slices of pie? Not seven pies, seven slices of pies, or less than seven slices of pies. And I'm going to pause the video so you can pause it and then you can tell me why. If you see, you see my mouse scrolling over here. And I'm going to press that pause button. Great job explaining. Now let's go in and evaluate before I let you go on and solve. So again, it's page 27. And we're going to quickly go over these parts. Some of the things that we circled was seven pies and four slices. Make sure you understand that they're different units. So this one is pies. This one is slices of pies. The underlying question was, how many slices of pies are there? If you didn't get some of these parts or you missed a part, this is the time that you are circling, underlining, and boxing. What are you boxing right now? You're boxing. Each pie was cut. And how many slices of pies are there? This is really important because they're asking you for how many slices, not how many pies. So make sure you're thinking about this, that if you actually have this is actually my yogurt that I was eating in the morning. It's a little weird, but it looks cir circular. It looks circular, so I'm I'm picking this right now. So if you were to cut your pie, like if I cut it smack in the middle right here, I actually have two pieces. So how are you going to cut a pie into four pieces? 
And I know it doesn't say in there, but I'm pretty sure they would want it in equal pieces because you don't want one person getting a gigantic piece of pie. So how are you going to show your pies? And how are you going to cut that into four slices? Please open up to page 27, which you already should have open. Make sure you're filling out all the things on the first page. That means name, date, college. You have your circles, your boxes, and your, bo and your underlining all done already. You have a first way. If you can do a vertical way, do so. You should have a number sentence and a word sentence all done before you watch me solve mine. Your third way, you can wait until you watch one of my ways and you go, oh, that's something I didn't think of or something I liked. That's something you can write in your third way. After you're all done with that, you should still have a full explanation on how you would explain to me about one of these ways that you liked. If you were picked to go up on the board, which one would you show off and how would you tell me to show it off? So right now, I'll see you in a little bit to show you my videos. So for this one, the baker had seven pieces of pie, I mean seven pies, and each pie was cut into four pieces, or slices. So then they want to know how many slices of pie. So if you have a pie and then you cut it into four slices, it should look like this. So right now, how many pies do you have? You have seven. So that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you have to cut each pie into four slices. So that has four. That's four. That's four. That's four. That's four. That's four. And that's four. Let's say they're all equal pieces because I can already tell this slice is not as equal as this slice. But that's not what they're asking you for. They want to know how many slices you have all together. So each one of these is a slice. So this is one, two, three, four. Then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight. So now that I counted all of them, we actually have 28 slices. And this was our first method, and it was drawing. For our second method, we're still going to stick with the seven pies because that's what they want. And you're still cutting it to four pieces. No oh, slices. But instead of actually like, cutting it, I'm just going to draw seven. And in each one, I'm just going to write four. Because I know we're going to cut them into four, but we don't really have to do it. We're just showing you that we did cut it into four. And we're going to add all these together. So now... We can do it like this. 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 14 is 4 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. 20 plus 4 is 24. 24 plus 4 is 28. So your answer actually came out to 28. Our last method is really similar, but you can actually do it like this, where you line them up all straight in a row. So how many pies do you have? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And how many slices do you have in each? Four in each. Then you're going to add them together, but I'm actually going to do doubles this time. So you're using doubles in this one. Sorry if you hear my cat in the back. So 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. 4 plus 4 is 8. This one doesn't have a pair, so you're just going to bring it down. Don't forget it. Then you're going to do 8 plus 8 is 16. 8 and 4 is actually 12. And then 16 plus 12, 6, 7, 8. 1 and 1 is 2. 
Now that you watched my videos and you solved your own, these are the number sentences and the word sentences that I had. So this is actually a repeated addition sentence, which means you're adding the same thing over and over and over again. And so you added four seven times in order to get 28. This is also repeated addition is multiplication. So if you were really, 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 really thinking about going ahead, you would start thinking of, okay, so I have four, how many times do I have that? I have it seven times. So four times seven, which means four added seven times is 28. The word sentence is, there are 28 slices of pie. Great job today and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, forgot to do that. <laughs>